Hey there. I've been wanting a 22 semi-automatic for quite a while, so a couple of weeks ago I went to uh, our local Academy Sports and Outdoors, and I was just looking through the case there, and I had the salesman show me some of them. And I looked at a Ruger SR-22. Uh, I looked at the Walther PPKS-22. Looked at three or four more. And I thought, well, I don't know. I just happened to look down the bottom of the case, and I said, what's, what's that right there? And he said, that's a Smith & Wesson M&P-22 Compact. And I said, let me see that. And just as soon as he handed it to me, I knew that was the one. <laughs> this thing fits in my hand probably better than any gun I've ever... <laughs> uh, if, if my Glocks and my, uh, my big uh, M&Ps felt like this, that would be something. This thing, so I bought it and I took it to the range and I was hitting, I was hitting the target at 30 yards with no problem. Uh, Excellent little gun. Man, I, I couldn't be more pleased with it. It comes with uh, two stainless steel magazines. And these magazines are, man, talk about quality magazines. What I like about them, got the little tabs on them here that you just uh, set it down, you just pull down on the tabs, and you just drop the round right in there. I mean, you can load it just as fast as, as, fast as they'll go in there. And two of them, and they're stainless steel, the 10 round uh, capacity. This thing shoots very good. It, I mean, the sights were dead center on the target coming out of the box. Didn't have to adjust them, not one bit. And, and you can see, it's, it's got the, the M&P design on it. Looks just like all, all the rest of the, the M&P line series. And uh, the uh, white lettering was already on it. It came that way from the factory. Didn't have, to, didn't have to paint them in or use a crayon or anything. And the, 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 there's two things that I didn't particularly like about it. That, I mean, I love the gun, but two things I didn't like. There's something about every gun that's a little off for me. It has ambidextrous uh, safety on it. I don't mind the safety being on this side because my shield uh, has the safety on that side, and, I, and I'm used to it. But that on the other side, it while the while the safety is engaged, it just kind of hard to get your hands back. The, the safety is, is almost right in the way. It's easy for me to knock the safety off and then come back with it. It's very easy to do then. has a magazine disconnect. You have to put a magazine in it too. And man, it's got a great trigger. It's got, it's got an M&P trigger to it. Oh, it just feels a ah, great trigger. Uh, here's my, my shield. Talk about a compact. It is, it is almost identical in size to my M&P shield. I mean, the same width, same dimensions. Uh, I mean, look at that. <laughs> and, it, and my shield has got that extended grip on it. frame there, did I? It's almost like it's got a got a full size grip on it. When I came home after I took us to the range, and man, they're just shooting, a, having a great time with it. I came back home, I was watching a, a video, and I just happened to click on Hickok 45, and he had a video on the M&P 22 Compact, and I, so I thought I'd watch it. And one of the first things he said, when you put this in your hand, you're going to love the feel of it. And I thought, man, boy, he was right about that. As soon as I picked it up in the store, I, I, knew, I knew I wanted that. Uh, I'll show you this. It's all so. Here's my Glock 43. The 
Glock 43 is just a tad uh, shorter in the barrel. I think this has, if I'm not mistaken, I think the, the MP22 Compact has a 3.6 inch barrel. It has the Picatinny rail on it. Uh, let me break this thing down for you. It's very easy to break down. Lock the magazine. Lock it back. Breaks down just like a, any of the other do. But here's the thing. It's a blowback. You come all the way back on the magazine and lift it off. And the spring comes out and it's a, it's a blowback design. And here, I said there was a couple of things I didn't particularly like about it. On the end of this barrel, it comes from the factory. It's threaded. And you can screw this thing, screw this little end cap off. I don't know if you can see it there. You can screw that little end cap off and uh, put you a, a silencer on it. Screw it down in there. And you can have you a compensator or a silencer, whatever you want to say it. Uh, but... Uh, I don't really care about having that on a 22, but while I was shooting it, I, I bet you I shot two or three hundred rounds through this, and I kept noticing. I looked down at the end of the barrel on the slide, and I said, "What's the matter with that barrel?" It was vibrating, and it, as you were shooting, this thing was slowly uh, twisting out, backing off, and it, I mean, it was only about two or three threads hanging on. So I thought, "Well, I'm not comfortable with that," so I took some blue Loctite and Loctited that thing down. So, I care. I don't care anything about putting a silencer on this 22, but it shoots great. And that that blowback uh, design on it with the fixed barrel on it. That's one of the reasons it adds to its accuracy. I mean, this thing was dead center accurate. Uh, you just put the slide. You know, the spring will only go in there one way, and then you just put it back on there. Wait a Slide it back. Put it on camera, it'll do it every time. There we go. But, that's what I want to show you, man. I love this little thing. Great shooter. Okay, folks. That's what I was wanting to show you, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you, appreciate it.